right here. Hot, neutral, and ground. Drill your hole. Perfect. Run your cable through. Put the breaker box back in its place. Thermostat. Blue one goes right by the reset button. Hey YouTube, how you all doing? Just trying to squeeze in a few more projects in my uh, Jayco travel trailer RV. On today's project, I'm going to be installing this RV uh, travel trailer water heater conversion kit. Hang tight, I'll show you how. Let's do this. This is the sensor. Before I take this out of the trailer and get lost in the uh, running of the wires, I thought I'd do a uh, quick rundown. So if you look at this, right, that one connects to, it splits in three wires right here. One connects to the heating cartridge, white to white, connect it, right? The other one is green. It connects to the extension. And if you look at the green one, it actually splits off. One goes to the chassis, the other one goes to the extension and the extension connects to green on the very top of the switch which is gold. Okay, And then on the third one it's just black. It goes to the extension cord again and connects to the bottom of the switch right there. And the blue one of the extension cord connects right here to the blue one right here and connects right here right next to the reset switch. Okay, next, you know we connected this white one, right, connector to the plug-in wire. The other one, connect it to the black wire, and it goes right here to your thermostat. Just connection right there. That's pretty much it. I have an Atwood RV water heater, so I'm going to need two things in here. I think this is for uh, Suburban. This is the two that I need. Compression fitting. And this one right here. Prep it. Teflon tape. Three to four. Pretty. All prepped up, ready to go. Partially assemble your heater cartridge. Just right there. Again, just using the heater cartridge right now as a guide. We'll tighten that up later. Isolate your water tank by turning the valve clockwise. And also the one below. There you go. Clockwise. That's off position. All right, let's go outside, drain it. Open the valve, just like that. Leave it open. Socket or wrench. Let's go with socket. Seven eighths. I'll go ahead and take off the couch. There's the uh, one screw right there and one in the back. That's the side of the couch. You know. All right. Okay, remove the couch. Again, just four screws. And also, uh, there's two screws holding this uh, panel right here. one look like it's just 
that side right there. I'm gonna stick off the box. How about that? Now I have better understanding of where things are at. Removing the couch really opens this up and gave me a lot of options, right? You can tell this is where the gas line is, right? Right there. What I'm gonna do is just right above, about right here, and uh, drill my hole. Half inch, let's drill a hole. All cleaned up with this round shape file. I have tightened this up and uh, we're now ready to insert the heating element or heating cartridge. Here we go, we pre-assembled this, uh, it's good to go. Use a rubber hose if you can. Let's try to squeeze it in. Okay, let's put it in. Take a look, look at that. About a quarter, half inch sticking out, right? Uh, you need that for your uh, compression uh, fitting. You need that uh, slack. In terms of the uh, cables, right? Split this hose in half, right? And uh, nice play right there. No way it's gonna get cut. You could put silicone right there afterwards. Let's go inside and finish it up. That's the breaker box right there. Shut everything down. Four screws, one in each corner. Let's look inside. Oh wow, take a look at that. I think, uh, I think we're just lucky. Look at that. A pigtail, ready to go. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Use this as a uh, power source for my uh, water heater. Romex, home run, baby. Let's take a look. There it is, existing Romex, All right? We'll put it through right here. Reminder on safety, completely tested this uh, system. I got no juice in here, but you know the old saying, respect it, right? No juice. Strip about four to five inches. That's plenty. You could tape the tips, right? But that's good enough for me. Perfect. Here's, take a look. Here's what we fed in. Right here. Hot, neutral, and ground. Find yourself an available spot right there for your neutral. And uh, ground on top. And as I mentioned, this black one right here. Just connect it with the existing pigtail. This is such an awesome find. Tuck it in. That looks good. All tucked in, fully connected. Now it's time to put this, uh, run this wire through this cabinet right here and all the way where I need it to be on this side. There's a good note right here. There's one screw right there. Take it off. And what's behind there is your pump, water pump. And I think what I'm gonna do is run it from the top right here. Drill a hole, 
just right here staple it to the top and run it through drill another hole to punch through the other side which is on this side right here right there I got no cables on the other side that I will cut into drill your hole perfect run your cable through put the breaker box back in its place and tighten it put the cover back on leave this off for now until you're finished with your project drill a hole 8 inches from the floor perfect let's put the cover back on With that all buttoned up, let's go on this side. Let's mount this. Perfect. Basic wiring, black wire, goes to the gold, neutral goes to silver and that's your ground take a look at that good to go Install the uh, mounting bracket for your on and off switch. I'm thinking just installing it just right here. Easy access, easy screw on. On and off switch is on. On being on top, off is at the bottom. It says to mount the uh, thermostat or the sensor to the flattest surface of the uh, water tank. Go ahead and cut this and uh, take a peek. The desired uh, placement again is on a uh, flat position. Haha, yeah. ha. take a look. It's not even flat. That's being round. It's like a barrel. Little kegger there. I think the flattest surface is actually a front right here. Right? This is actually pretty round. So let me go ahead and put the placement right here. If you look at the sensor right here in the thermostat, take a look. That's not touching at all compared to being right here absolutely sensors right there right those two holes right there I'm actually pretty happy that the uh, double-sided tape didn't come on pre-taped on this one because uh, it will actually interfere with the uh, uh, sensing of the temperature I'm gonna cut it up and make sure that this two holes are exposed I'm gonna replace that strap with a little tie down here. Let's pull this out and see if you can. Just did a sewing motion of the strap. There it is. Eliminate the uh, excess. That's plenty. Minimize your cut. Just outline the uh, thermostat. Let me cut it. All cut up. I think that's a perfect shape because what I'm gonna do is cut this in half with a fresh sharp blade cut them in half so uh, keep this uh, sensors uh, exposed the two holes right there and I'm probably gonna cap it right here as well so it traps it hang tight let me cut this up here you go it's not perfect but it will do let's clean this up with alcohol There you go. Let's stick this bad boy 
onto the tank. Let me clean the surface of the tank so it will stick. It's time to stick this thing. Excellent. Let's stick this bad boy. Let's make sure it's lined up. It's awesome. Let's wire this thermostat. Blue one goes right by the reset button. That's one. Black one on the other side. That's good. Bend it out a little bit for the styrofoam. That should be good. Let's put the styrofoam on. Put the cap on. Beautiful. That's pretty. Cable management right there. Right? Oh, look at that. So make sure you shut the valve, turn it back on, right, turn it back on, that's the on position. There's the back of the switch, green on top with a gold post, blue in the middle, and black at the bottom. Black one just goes directly to the heating element, the blue one goes to the back of the uh, switch right here all the way to the back and as I showed you uh, it's plugged in at the center of the switch this white one right here it's actually one of the wire of the plug right black with a white connector white connector okay this is ground green one is ground connected to the chassis outside let me show you a shot of that it's a ground from the outside just drill another hole and screw it in right there. That's an existing screw. I just loosened it up and slid the ground in. Again, one of them goes out to the chassis. And this one right here is from the uh, plug itself. Coming from here. And then this one right here actually just circles back and connects to the top of the uh, switch with a gold post. Put the couch the way it was, right? Just four screws to the side and two screws right there okay and uh, of course the uh, before I could put the couch put the box back on this may get in the way so maybe I need to slide that to the side but other than that that's pretty much it I was hoping to install an electrical box right here but there's a stud right here there's the stud That's the stud. It's about right here. I could drill a hole right here. Regular box will not fit. This is only two and a quarter deep. This is too big. One option is this shallow box right here. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now. I'll do a part two, right? I'll do a part two video uh, on how uh, this thing works and also uh, make sure that everything is working. Thanks again. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now.